Hi, and welcome to episode 17 of Two Crafty Stitches. Today is December 6, 2015. I'm Sandy, also known as Knits and Pips. And I'm Kelly, also known as Pearly Girl 75 And we're joined again today by Lucy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, you should have kept the um, Christmas collar on her. Oh, I know, but next time, next yeah. time it'll be closer to Christmas so she can wear it then. But you can't see it anyway. I know. Because look how low she is. <laughs> you can't even see her it's neck. Tough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We'll put it on for next time. Then you'll be able to see it, like, right there. That's about <laughs> it. Maybe. If she decides to join us. Yes. Which, recently, um... She has joined us a lot lately. Like, I know. And but then, like, about so halfway good. halfway through, she just kind of leaves and it's like, yeah, whatever. Like, Peace out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, I guess we should start with our content. Yes. And we're going with no show notes for us today, um, but we'll probably do them afterwards. Like last time. Like we did last time. Which I think we're getting better at not doing the show notes. Well, <laughs> at proceeding with not doing the show notes. Um, yeah, sure. Okay, so what do we start with again? What's new? What's new? Do you yes. want to go? You should go first. Um, I can I'm petting go the first. dog. Yes, because the dog <laughs> needs to be petted. Because she's going to tear up my leg if I don't pet her. So, um, I think it was last weekend. Yeah, because last weekend was Thanksgiving. Was last week Thanksgiving? Yes, it was. Yeah. Yes, because I, well, yes, it was. Yeah, so last weekend was Thanksgiving, and we um, both took both of our dogs to go see Santa for pictures. Yes. It was free with any purchase. We should so. put those pictures up on the blog. Yes. I haven't even put mine on Instagram. Oh, mine's yet. on Instagram. Mine was I, on I Instagram haven't the shared, same day. I, I shared it with my sister, and I think that's about it. Yeah. But I was trying to find reindeer antlers, because my dog is pretty much the size of a reindeer. And I that's thought what that Santa said. Adorable. I know. Santa was like, he looks like one of my reindeer. So, I went everywhere, and one of my stops was Tuesday morning, as I was walking past, I saw not your ordinary socks. Oh. So, hmm. there's some uh, really interesting patterns, and it was on sale from $25 to $3.99. I'm like, well, I can't yeah. not get it. Possible little known fact is that Tuesday morning, every once in a while, has like yarn and stuff. Yeah, they did have some and yarn. knitting needles and all sorts of little That's weird things that you can That's where I got my chai my, uh, my chai goo needles. Yeah. Remember we, well, yeah. yeah, we both went and got those. Yeah, there's and some. And I bought yarn from there before, too. In interesting little socks. Yeah. Not all of them are color, but there's a lot mm -hmm. that's like dual stripes, but then there's like hmm. solid ones with patterns, so. Very nice. And then at the, like, front, I haven't gone through everything. It shows what all the patterns are, mm -hmm. but just in black and white. Oh, that's cool. Because, like, all of theirs have different colors, mm -hmm. but, yeah. And Lucy's licking your book. Yeah, that seems She's about like, right. Mm, this book is very tasty. But yeah, when I saw those, <laughs> I thought those colors were very you. They are very me. But I don't ever see you knitting nope. socks with multiple colors. Nope, you can make them for me. I could. And look, and they, but they would kill you because well, they're different color. They're reverse colors. Yeah, I'd have two. to make you um, two pairs of socks. Yeah, well, hey. Yeah. Get started. I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. I really like... I really like these socks because they're, they're gray, gray and, and blue. blue. <laughs> and I saw them, I'm like, wow, those are really fun, and I like the pattern. It is and, a cool pattern. Yeah, and it's yeah. trucking. Oh, so cause I like I, trucking. I'm like... Hold on, wait, th those socks look familiar after um, I started thinking about it, but yeah. <laughs> so, and then I also have my, um, uh, oh wow, my brain just went mad. Like, um, the Secret Club yarn that came in from Yarntasia. I think, I want to say Yarntasia. Yeah, Yarntasia. Yes. And... You haven't seen it. No, I have not. And I'm taking a peek over right now. Yes, I think it's beautiful. Oh, that is really so, pretty. It's very springy looking, kind of. But also in some angles, it's kind of Christmassy. I know. Because it's got red and green. And some blue. Yeah. And some gray. Yeah. And no brown. I know. I know. I'm so happy. <laughs> it's a, um, the color is tinsel. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a superwash merino nylon, 463 yards. Oh, nice. And... Now, is this, was this for one month only that you signed yeah, up? Yeah, it, it was, okay. it's a month, like, an as-you-go type thing. Oh, okay. So there's the card with the Etsy, mm -hmm. and it's um, etsy.com slash shop slash Yarntasia. Mm -hmm. So, I really very like pretty. it. It's really yes. soft. It is very soft. It came, um, uh, I had it delivered.
delivered to my office because I'm like, oh, I'll be smart. Somebody will be there. Won't get, you know, sent back or anything if nobody's home. Mm -hmm. Somebody won't take it out of my mailbox. <laughs> it got delivered, or the first attempt was the day after Thanksgiving. And, um, yeah, my office was closed. So yeah. I was kicking myself because I was saying I could have been home. <laughs> I could have had it. it already. Yep. But I got it on Monday. I stayed away from Instagram and everything so mm -hmm. I could be surprised. I was going to say, so. I didn't see it. I guess none of the people I follow on Instagram are in that club because I didn't see I that. Know. I've never seen it. But then again, I haven't been on Instagram a whole lot lately. So Yeah, we were busy with like dog pictures and, that. <sighs> and other stuff. Now she's like asleep on the floor. I know. She's like right under my leg too. I so I have to have my leg like awkwardly jutted out in front of me. <laughs> you can't see that, but that's what's happening. Um, so I have a new item, but it's not like, it's not knitting related or other stuff related. I know. Um, so I was on Instagram. Speaking of, good segue here. I, know. I was on Instagram. <laughs> And Instagram I has, like, about. I know, she's like, this is a big surprise. So Instagram has these, like, um, ads and stuff now. Yes, I <laughs> yes, know. I know. And so I there was a confused because I'm like, I know. What? who's, yeah. Oh, it's just like so yeah. there was, like, um, uh, for, there was a company that does picture books. And they do picture books, like, you know, like photo album type things or whatever, I guess, of your Instagram feed. Like, of your, not your feed, but, like, of your pictures. And you so get to, like, pick the pictures? or You can, or you can, like, subscribe, and every time you have 60 pictures, they'll print a book and send it to you, and the book is, like, $8 or something, but they had a deal where it was, like, um, free book and, like, free shipping, and I had found a Retail Me Not coupon. So I got my little books of all of my Instagram pictures so far, and they're, like, little volumes, so they have, like, volume one and the dates and stuff, huh. and at the top of the pictures, they have... Um, let me find a good picture. Because um, it's just like random Instagram pictures. But I thought it was a really cute idea, so I went ahead and signed up for it. Um, maybe it'll be in the next book that there'll be some. Oh, here we go. Here's baby Lucy <laughs> from when we, when we got her. And so, and it puts like your little, what you had written at the bottom of your picture, you know, like your caption, and it also has the date at the top. And it's a little full color, and you get... Your volumes yeah, for all of your books. You went yeah, I thought it was really cute. Well, I wanted to see what it would look like too. And um, so yeah, so I have like the first like, because I did a whole thing. I have like the first five volumes of my Instagram, because I have three hundred something pictures. So well, see, I, have, like, I don't know if I'd want all my pictures. But on But you Instagram. can exclude them though. Okay. You can click through and click like because you, you can preview your book before they do it, and um, because you just like put in your feed or whatever and all this, and then you go through, and they also will do it with your Facebook pictures too. But I thought, well, my Instagram pictures would be cool. And then um, the first picture is, like, your um, cover. So it's one of my covers are really classy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but you guys didn't yeah. see that. It was um, You did not see that. It was out. me after the gym. Oh, yeah. Um, from, and, like, last summer. <laughs> and then the toilet <laughs> paper roll. like, a summer before. And, um, oh, yeah, this is one that I put up. And I had to, I was like, I have to have a copy of that one because that's awesome. Um, cause my husband is deaf and I've been in this situation before where you run out of toilet paper. Um, but anyway, <laughs> so, <laughs> um, but you can go through, you preview, you can preview your book and you can like swipe through it, whatever. And then you can choose, oh, I don't really want you to print that picture and all that type of stuff. But I thought that mine, I think I only excluded like two pictures. So mine is quite an accurate representation of my Instagram over the past since 2012. All I can think is, that explains a lot. What? The toilet paper thing. What does that explain? Sorry. Here's Candy. a more recent after-workout picture, and that's of me and Sandy. And it's on my, wearing the same I was going to say, it's on my Instagram picture, so it's not like, if you don't, it's not like, it's not like Sandy's going to be like, oh my gosh, why'd you show that ah. to me? Well, if you're on my Instagram, girl 75 you could have seen that already. <laughs> so I thought that was really cool. So that's what I did. Awesome. Yes, that's my new item. Or items. Yep, that's it. Oh, okay. I don't have anything else. I thought you said that you had like a few, but Those yeah. are a few. There's like five books there. That's a few. It's more than a few. That's several. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now today's, we're just getting into Today's semantics, semantics lesson. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, the title as... of episode, semantics. <laughs> 
as I was working on my project and you were going over your stuff, I started yes. thinking, oh crap, I forgot something in my car. <laughs> so I'm not going to be showing it. Oh. Yeah. Was it something you're working on or something? Yeah, it was okay. the converse things. So. Oh, okay. So, well, you can show them next time. Yeah. All right. Yep. So, so what yeah, were we working so on? So I started working on um, <laughs> the converse uh, pattern. Um, one of my coworkers at work would like a pair for her daughter. One of your coworkers at work. <laughs> yes. Instead of my coworkers who's not at work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At my real time job. Or my fake job. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I guess my fake job would be what this, and then you can be my coworker. I could. <laughs> yes, this could be your fake job, and the other fake job could be like our time in at the gym. We can pretend we're like gym employees. Or hey, something. I did pick up the phone that one time. <laughs> <laughs> So, and I offered to answer it. <laughs> they wouldn't let me. Yeah. But anyways. Because we're not real employees there, even though we're there enough that we should be. Yes. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I started, uh, and I'm probably about 80% done on the um, Converse now. I just need to oh, do, wow. like, the sole and then the little white bit around and the toe part. Mm. So, yeah, it, it's coming along. It's coming along. Um, and... I really haven't worked on anything this last two weeks. I got, I've got, I got this far on my sock. I don't wow. got this far <laughs> over here. <laughs> Beer are go good with pizza, <laughs> so I'm just past the toe. Um, yeah, the whole beer are go good with pizza. Um, my boyfriend has found that he likes this band. That oh my goodness, is uh, has all of their videos on YouTube. Mm. It's called Psycho Stick, and one of the things is beer is good, and another one it's is a whole song. Obey the Beard. Yes, and there was a taco yeah. song. Yes, about how tacos are good. Yes, because on Thanksgiving, we went to Sandy's house <laughs> at our non-traditional barbecue Thanksgiving meal. Yes, and then, our Friendsgiving. Yes, Friendsgiving, and we were treated to videos of um, Psycho Stick. Yes. Yes. <laughs> well... <laughs> I have listened to, I think, every single song by them now. Oh. Um, multiple times. Because I'll just come home randomly and it'll be playing. <laughs> like, on the TV. Do they have an really album? Loud. They might. Oh. I don't know. Maybe you could get that for them for Christmas. But then you'd be listening to that all the time. Do you even have anything you could play a CD on? I do. It's not I'm just plugged thinking, in. Do, do I? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's in the front. No, no, it is plugged in. Does anyone in. play CDs anymore? <laughs> no, did, uh, you didn't see it. I think it was like a whole article. Oh yeah, on Buzzfeed. Yeah, yes, about, uh, about, about the Adele CD and yes, like how to like, use it. What is this? I just <laughs> bought this album. <laughs> does it go in my? Does it go in my computer? How? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Anyway. So, yeah. Um. So what are you working on, Sandy? Did you talk about those yeah, already? Yeah, I, I thought you just, just said far. you're working on this, but you didn't. Yeah. So it's the sock yarn that we don't know. What kind it is? It's green and yellow and orange sock yes. yarn, and um, I decided to try something a little bit different with the variegated yarn, which I've never done. And I'm doing the socks on a plane with the little cable on the side. I think it's coming out very nicely. Though. Yeah, it's so, almost making it striped. I know. Yeah. So hmm. I'm uh very cute. I'm happy with it so far. Yes. I wasn't sure if I was going to with these color things because I don't know the yellow <laughs> just doesn't do it for me yeah well but I'm good with it yes that's good so um I'm still working on my moon rover fiber but I didn't bring it because it looks the same although I have been working on it so it looks like last time but with more on the spindle so <laughs> <laughs> not too exciting and then um I'm working on my Christmas gift knitting of socks which I thought I might have done for today oh. but they're almost done because I'm on, I, I have like the main part of the sock done and I'm on the heel of this one and the other one, I have like everything but the heel. So anyway. Um, yeah, they'll be done. They'll be done probably at knitting tonight. today. Yeah. Um, but these are made out of the Deborah Norville collection of premier yarns um, that I, a Serenity sock that I bought at the Joanne Fabrics and has been, you know, sitting around because... That way, this they're like more machine washable, and so since they're a gift, yeah, they're great easier. gift yarns. Yeah, for non-knitters, which, which I picked up some last time we were at Joanne's. 
Which was yesterday. Which was, yes, that was yesterday. <laughs> Which, yeah, I didn't bring that with I me. I didn't bring mine either, but it's okay, because eventually I'll be making socks out of them okay, for this you didn't bring recipient. it here because it's here. Or well, in your house. I didn't bring it into this room. Okay. It's not in this room. It's in with my sock yarn in the other room. Anyway. So, um, that's about it for me for what I'm working on. <laughs> and I don't have anything finished, because I thought I'd have these done. <laughs> As I was frantically knitting the cuff before you came over of sock number two um <laughs> and I was like actually I was I was knitting the I had 10 rows left um and so I got five of them done before I went to the gym this morning and then five of the five, five rows end up bind off done and started the heel before you came over so <laughs> I was like maybe I can finish nope yeah no um <laughs> I and I probably won't have them yeah. to show next time because they'll be in the mail so, so they'll be pictures on imagine. the Instagram and maybe on the blog. Yes, but imagine, if you will, this with a heel. That's what they'll look like. So if you just show the front part and just don't show the back. And that's not, what it looks like. And with no needles hanging out of it. Yeah. That's what they will look like. <laughs> I think your mother's going to love them. Yes. And I'll I, save her life. Well, she likes all of the things I knit for her, so. Yes. Yep. Because she is like me, where we get cold very easily. Yes, and they just moved to a colder climate, so <laughs> she will appreciate them greatly. That I'm is sure. something that I would like to do as well. Because then me I can too. wear so much of more of my knitting. Oh yeah, definitely. And like maybe knit some sweaters other than okay. Like well, two. we went up to North Florida for Thanksgiving, and um, it was supposed to be chilly, and I was like, well, not chilly, but you know, like chilly for Florida. Yeah. So it was supposed to be like in the sixties and stuff, like and everything, and then um, it didn't get that cold. And I packed, like, three shawls and, um... <laughs> Hold on, you packed three shawls for 60-degree weather? Well, no, because it was supposed to be, like, in the 40s in the morning when I wasn't outside. Or, like, in the evenings when I wasn't outside. It was going to be, like, highs of 60, lows in the 40s when I was there. So I had, like, shawls and ha a hat. I took a hat and I took <laughs> When did you think stuff? you were going to wear this stuff? When I was outside of the house. Like... You know, whatever. So Lows of forties would be like the middle of the night. So anyway, <laughs> so anyway, so what happened was that the first day, um, it was like sixty, and then the next, the rest of the time that we were there, it was in the mid to upper seventies. And there was one time in which I was going outside on a walk, one of the evenings, and I went outside without a jacket on, and I got told, "Where is your jacket?" And I said, "It is seventy degrees outside. I don't need a jacket." <laughs> So, yeah, I didn't use any of my stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the first night, though, it was when we went out to dinner, I wore um, my winter coat. But it's not like, I went, it's like a Florida winter coat. It's okay, not, I mean, it's, okay. but it, I wore, because it's nice looking, but it's not, I'll show it to you later. It's not like a winter, winter coat. Well, and I was very excited because it fit again, because when it was purchased for me, it did not fit me. Oh, awesome. So, yes. So I've gotten one wear out of it. Yay. Yes. Maybe one more this year. We'll see. Well, Maybe. it might get, It's been um, very warm, though, this year so far. Yeah, well, normally in December it is. It's like January is when it starts yeah. cooling down. So, yeah. anyway. At least in my experience. I don't remember. And then I will be not here and being very busy. So, yeah. yeah. Um, so, I don't have anything that I finished either. <laughs> because... I have been very busy with work, mm -hmm. and I'm doing a cable right now, so I'm not looking up. Yeah. Okay. Um, I did finish uh, one of my uh, books, though, that I was reading. I this finished a book segue. as well. So what book did you finish? <laughs> I finished Infinity Lost. Oh, yeah. By, I don't remember, I want to say S. Harrison, but um, it's the first book in a trilogy, and I thought the other books were out but apparently not <laughs> so i'm like okay let me read the january 5th oh. darn so yeah i have some time before i can read the next one yeah so you'll have to find something else to read between now and then i know i haven't looked yet because i just finished it today oh well i finished yeah. my book last night <laughs> wow we are such slackers i know well and i was like i really need to finish my book because i had 60 pages left and it's a hardcover and it's one i've been taking to and from work and i don't mind taking a hardcover book in my bag to and from work but if I only have 60 pages and I can get that done, you know, pretty quickly, yeah. um, then I would have to take another book or make sure I had something in my Kindle. And with it being, like, 
retake testing system, you know, not system, retake testing time again um, <clears throat> at work, then there are certain tests that you can have to have, like, if you're going to read, you have to have, like, a book book, not an electronic form of a book. So I was trying to have, like, a regular book, which would mean I would be carrying two. So I said, I have to get this book finished. So I finished it last night because I didn't want to tote it around for, like, a 400-page hardcover book to read 60 pages. And you could have taken your Instagram books and read it. They don't... Oh, my goodness. Whatever. <laughs> I'm just going to read my Instagram pictures. <laughs> So anyway, so the, so the book that I read is Judy Bloom's latest book, but it's one of her books for adults, because I don't know, are you familiar with Judy Bloom? I was about to say, isn't that like a kid's book? This is not a kid's book, I because she has written a few that. adult books. Um, anyway, um, this is In the Unlikely Event, and it is about the early 1950s in New Jersey, when they were like, within two months in one town, there were three plane crashes, and it's based on actual events that happened when Judy Bloom was, like, a girl growing up in New Jersey in the early 1950s. So, but it was very good. I enjoyed it. Um, of course, you know, I mean, I grew up reading Judy Bloom books. Like, I wrote, I read pretty much everything she ever wrote when I was um, younger, and then I've read her adult books, too. And this one actually just, it, you know, I haven't read one of her, her books in years, but just, like, getting into it, I was like, oh, yeah, like, her writing style hasn't changed. She's, like, in her 70s. You know, it's just, like, you know, it was really good. I liked it. So, awesome. Yes. Um, and it's also been sitting on my shelf for a while, because um, I bought it when it first was published, and I hadn't gotten around to reading it yet. And so, last week I said, I think that I need a book to read. I think I'm going to read this one this time. Now, I don't think I've really watched anything recently. Um, I don't remember if I mentioned, but I finished The Walking Dead last season's. So mm -hmm. now I need to catch up on this season. This season. So. I do not so. watch that show. So. No, you don't. But that cuts into my Fallout playing time. Mm hmm I caught up on Grimm, and I'm yet another week behind on Doctor Who, probably about eight or nine episodes behind right now. Yeah, I... I, <laughs> I think last night was the season finale, and then they have the Christmas special coming up, so... I have some time off at Christmas when I need to sit down and catch up on it. Yeah, and... Make sure I catch up on it, too. Yes. So that way we can discuss. Yes. And, there's, um... There's no use otherwise. And, um, America's Next Top Model ended the other night with their series finale, um, because they're not doing any more seasons, and, um, I, I watched the first few episodes this season, but I haven't, I, I haven't watched the show in years, and I watched the first few episodes, and I was like, oh, okay. Um, and we watched it because there was, um, a deaf contestant, and, um, spoiler alert, if you're not on the internet or whatever, um, he won the whole thing, so that's pretty cool. Hey, I'm on the internet, and I didn't know until you said that. Oh, I, well, I also sent you a message about it, I too, know. on Friday night when I, I found out. I think, you like, you were the only person that I know that watches oh, that. Oh, well, because, like, my Facebook is full of, like, interpreters and that type of stuff, so. <laughs> so, <laughs> interpreters and deaf people. So, you know, that's pretty cool. Um, you know, I guess it's, you know, cool. That he won um and oh and spring awakening speaking of going on with news of the deaf community the um musical that's on broadway the revival of spring awakening that's done by um deaf west theater i saw also on facebook that they are filming it like oh, a yeah, few you of their that. yeah a few of their i think this week actually um a couple of their nights like a couple of the performances they're going to film and put it together and hopefully they'll be releasing it because not everyone is going to be able to get up to new york to go see it because I think it closes the middle of January, yeah. so. <laughs> and hopefully, it would be really cool if it went on tour. But we'll see. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, talked about Psycho Stick, so yes. Josh will be happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, we were talking about that, like, a few weeks ago. I'm like, well, because apparently they're, like, from here in Jackson, or in uh, Florida, I think up in Jacksonville or oh. somewhere around there. I'm like, we'll see if they're, like, having any shows. Maybe we'll do, like, a day trip somewhere. And he's like, that'd be awesome. <laughs> it's his new favorite band. Yeah. yeah. I swear when he showed it to me, and this is horrible, and if you're a big fan of this band and whatever, I thought it was, like, a parody band. Like, are they a parody band? Or are they, like, trying to be a legit band? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> but they're, they're, it's like a... 
of rock, a little bit on the harder side, and um, they were like funny hats. So I was sleeping in a nice little place. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she had a, a rough, like busy time right before we started filming, because we decided um, <clears throat> since we, well since we took the dogs last year also to go and see Santa Claus. And I was like, oh, this picture is so cute. I'm going to get Christmas cards printed with a picture of my dog with Santa. And I sent them out to family members. And all I heard was, well, where are you and your husband? Why are you not in the picture? So you're, you're like, my husband wasn't even with He wasn't even with us when we got the pictures, pictures. Done. And it's not like I'd just be like, hey, Santa, let me hop in this picture. Um, <laughs> so, so anyway, so this year we decided to, since we put our tree up, because we don't put our tree up every year because I am like a Christmas like Scrooge. And <laughs> I am. And, um, I, you know, the whole time we're decorating, I'm like, I hate decorating the tree. It's so much work. I can't stand doing this, whatever. So, because we're never in town. So, you know, and people don't usually come over. Like, you came over, you're probably the only person who's going to see our tree. Except for the picture I put up on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> and on Facebook. So, and, um, and on our Christmas card, because we had Sandy come over a little early, and John and I dressed up, and we got the dog, and we put... A little Christmas collar thing on her and we did pictures in front of the tree of the three of us so that I can get Christmas cards made and mail them out and so now and whatever picture I decide on full. yeah whatever picture I decide <laughs> on from the 4,000 pictures that were just taken I will um, put on Instagram also so yes. everyone else will be able to share in the joy and excitement of our picture and your Christmas tree and our tiny portion of the Christmas tree that you can see <laughs> and <laughs> All of Lucy. Yes. <laughs> so. Anyway, so she's very tired because, you know, being a model is very rough. It was. <laughs> you see what I did there? I, I did. I oh, was just yeah. letting that. <laughs> but. Yeah. It happened. <laughs> I was just bypassing that. <laughs> um, I introduced a new person to the Dutch Blitz. I was telling you that. Yes. And they are super excited about that. Dutch Blitz, yeah. for those who do not know, is a card game that is quite fun to play. It really is. Mm -hmm. And they support our soldiers and service personnel that are serving overseas. Yes. Um, for Veterans Day, they were giving away free um, card games to any deployed service personnel. So that just makes them like me, or makes me like them even more. Wow. And they, I'm sure Words they like you too. <laughs> the guy I was you talking talk to, to on the guy. phone was so, very nice. Yeah, I'm sure so. that they they like you too. So yes, yeah. Saying that I'm, uh, you know, telling everybody about them and saying hey. Yeah, I told a bunch of people too, but I did not call them to tell them that I told them a bunch <laughs> of people about them. <laughs> well, that's not why I called. I them. know. <laughs> so I adopt um, deployed service personnel. Um, one You've been doing that for several years, yeah, haven't you? Yeah, for a few years. Yeah. I'm on, I believe, my 13th person wow. now. Yep. Um, all of them have come home. Some of them are asylum. I don't ever hear from them. I've had a few that uh, we talk regularly. Mm -hmm. um, one person just came home, and I have one guy that's in the Army that's uh, deployed right now. So. Well, and the thing with, the reason that you had to contact them, or you didn't have to, but the reason that you did contact them is they... I saw on Facebook that they said, if you know of a deployed service person, we would like to send them, uh, you know, a, a card game um, for free. Just send us their name and address <laughs> where we can mail it to. And so I sent that over to Sandy and it was kind of like, well, you know, I can see how if maybe it was your family member, like, oh, this is my spouse or like my dad or something you know, or whatever, then you'd be like, oh, okay. But since Sandy adopts soldiers that she doesn't really know. You know, um, you know, you get to know them through through the whole thing, but you don't like they're not like your friends and stuff that you have known forever, and you don't want to just be like, yeah, here's their address overseas well, somewhere. So Sandy, it, it's more than just that, and, and also it's, it's a security reason yeah, it's too. A security, but yeah. Anyway, so um, so Sandy contacted them to see if um, you know, to what to like to yeah to send me the games so right, then I can send right. them, and they out. were very nice and did that. So. Yes. So yeah. That is exciting. So I'm getting that package together. Mm -hmm. Is a uh, Christmas. I need to find um, Florida trinkets. 
because that is, like, the only thing he's asked for. Florida trinkets? Yeah, like, you go to, like, the souvenir shop yeah. and you get, like, the Florida stuff. Oh. So maybe, like, an alligator head or something, because we have a lot of alligators in Florida. Yes. They make, um, well, I was going to say at the airport they have lots of that type of stuff, but you don't want to go to the airport. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think about where you would even buy all that type of stuff, though. I mean, um, maybe down near the beaches and stuff. Yeah, dear, near the beaches. Um, I don't really want to send him sand, because one of my, uh, old, uh, uh, guys who was a Marine, I was over in Jacksonville and I took a picture of the sunrise uh, on the beach, because mm-hmm. we were staying right at the beach. And he's like, it's really pretty, but I'm really tired of sand. I'm like, <laughs> oh yeah, you probably would yeah, be. Yeah, don't send sand. I'll, I'll go and take a picture of just some grass. <laughs> it's like, okay, that'd be nice. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I was going to say, because you always see, um... I don't know. They have like, like maybe like sand dollars. I think they have over there. Yeah, um, or like things with flamingos on them. Although you don't really see like a lot of flamingos. It's where we are. We don't see like unless you go to Bush Gardens. You don't see like flamingos. I've been all <laughs> over the state of Florida. Yeah, and you I have just not, not seen, seen like any flamingos. flamingos hanging out. <laughs> no, peacocks. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, but no, I don't think Florida's really known for their peacock population. <laughs> <laughs> they do seem to have a lot though. <laughs> um. <laughs> So, um, <laughs> I don't know why. Um, but anyway, no, but they, I was trying to think of what the things that I've seen. They have, like, oh, they have these, like, the, the chocolate alligators. It's, like, a, usually it's, like, a white chocolate or no, something or a gummy one. alligator or something. I've seen that. I always see that in the airport. Um, not that I spend a lot of time in the airport. I was about to say, when but, was the last time you've been in the airport? Like, five years ago. Um, <laughs> But we always look at all the gift shops and stuff because, you know, you're bored. You're waiting for your flight. So you just go, you know, browsing everything. I end up working so, yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> or go and eat and have a few drinks. I don't know. Maybe, like, some of the restaurants or something would have stuff. Like, down near the beach, some of the kitschy restaurants. I don't know. Or, you know. Yeah, I don't know. I need to figure that out. Yeah, so. we'll figure stuff out. I'll yep. help you. Because okay. I'm doing such a great job right now. Yeah. <laughs> Just, just go to the airport. It'll find just stuff. The, It'll be about 500% more expensive than yeah. anywhere else, but you'll find it. And you have to pay to park there unless yeah. you can park really fast, run in, grab your stuff, and leave. But you can only go not to security. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> unless I buy an airplane ticket. Right. <laughs> so. Yeah, so it might be quite an expensive trip to uh, buy your souvenirs at the airport. Well, remember before when we were trying to find postcards, and I was like, where are, you know, where do we yeah. find the postcards? So. <laughs> the airport. <laughs> the airport. Well, and now I don't have to worry airport. about that because I have an entire box of postcards, mm-hmm. like, one of the, like, large Ikea boxes. Oh, okay. Um, from all over for my travels. Yes. That's one of the things that my, I... Um, my mom, when we were in St. Augustine last time at, at the, uh, at the fort... My mom got this really cute set of postcards that was like a set of three and it had an alligator. Cause it, alligators is apparently what I'm talking about. Like right now with this segment, it's all about alligators. Um, but it had like, so the head of the alligator, it was like a drawing and it was like the head of the alligator and it was like the body of the alligator and, a t- and the tail of the alligator. And you could put them all three together and have like the whole big panoramic drawing of the alligator. But it had like a little, um, and it said like one of three, two of three, whatever. And it had like a little poem and everything, and, like, the end, it was like, and now my tail is done, or whatever. Yeah. It was like, but it was so cute. My mom got it, um, got the set to send to someone, um, one of our relatives. So, so who, if you send them, you would, it, you send it one at a time, yes. you have to send it all to the same person. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what, I, yeah, it was really cute, though, because she sent, you know, one, and then, like, a week later sent the second part, and then the week later sent the third. So. It was very cute. We should have picked up, I should have picked up a set, and you could have, like, stuffed all three of them in one of your packages. No, because I sent them you, postcards. Oh, okay. Well, then you could have sent yeah. them. But whatever. Next time I'm up there. Next time you're up there, you can buy something. I, think. I don't normally... I've been through St. Augustine well, no, twice but, in five But they years. had the same set, though, in her... In the Publix. Like, not in St. Augustine. Like, in Jacksonville, in Publix. So, okay, when I go up to Jacksonville, <laughs> I don't normally go to an area where there's a Publix. Oh, well. I'm normally in the less than stellar portion of Jacksonville. Hmm. So, 
I think it was like a half hour to the nearest Publix. Yeah. I know there's a Walmart you there. You want to buy like a dollar's worth of postcards after a half hour drive to the Publix. They might have them in the Walmart. I don't know. We didn't go. I've never been to the Walmart up, up there. Well, it's also the Walmart that is not by the beach. So, yeah. I think you're closer to the beach where you're at. Um, I don't know. It took us like 20 minutes to get to the beach the one time we went. We didn't go to the beach last time. That's what we were supposed to do. Yeah, that's a lot closer than where we're, we're supposed to go. Hmm. But we did not. I normally work on the west side. West side? <laughs> <laughs> to. <laughs> I was thinking it. <laughs> so, anyway. I do like the hand thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. There. All right. Um, so, so, we talked a lot about alligators. <laughs> yes, lots about alligators. I don't know. I don't know. And a little bit about flamingos and peacocks. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit about knitting. The, the wildlife in Florida near us. Because there are alligators near us. <laughs> we also have general squirrels up in Dade City. It's about 20-ish minutes. What is a general squirrel? Is it like, does he have like little <laughs> epaulets and stuff in there? Okay, so <laughs> I was working up there, and I'm outside, and I'm like, what? I grab the driller, I'm like, what is that over there? It's huge. Is that like a raccoon? And he's like, no, it's a squirrel. I'm like, a squirrel is not this big. He's like, it's a general squirrel. They're huge up here. I'm like, it's bigger than my cats. It's huge. It's like one and a half of your dogs. It's like, <laughs> it's massive. Wow. I have never seen a general squirrel. I know, they're all over Dade City. Oh, well, I don't go to Dade City, so. Well, maybe we need to go there. Day trip to go look at the squirrels. <laughs> After I saw that, I'm like, are there any yarn stores up there? Because we could make a, a yarn. I think yarn that they hop. have like a quilting store. I don't know if they have a yarn store. No. But they have like fabric and everything. Um... I don't know what all they have there. They have a little train museum. <laughs> so we could go buy fabric for quilts that we don't make and go to the train museum and look at the um, giant squirrels. Yes. <laughs> hey. What did you, and then I'd go into work. What did you do this weekend? <laughs> so I, I met a general squirrel. I saluted him. Because normally my, my tales of the weekend are, we took our dogs to go get pictures with Santa. <laughs> <laughs> well, first, uh, first Sandy and I went boxing. <laughs> <laughs> then we did some shopping, and then the next day we went to go see Santa with the dogs. <laughs> I'm surprised though that um, my coworkers still ask me what <laughs> so, because they never know what you're going I to know. say. They're like, five dollars says that she did X, Y, and Z over the weekend. <laughs> How many times is she going to talk about knitting today? <laughs> but or actually, it's not even that anymore. Now it's going to the gym. Yes. Boxing. I didn't tell you about the general squirrels. No, I was like, I was not. this close to moving up to Dade City just for the squirrels. <laughs> I'm like, oh, but that's like a 20 minute drive to work then. Yeah. But the squirrels. And there's like some hills. Oh. It's not like flat yeah. like here. <laughs> and there's like big trees. Well, I know. Hmm. So we need to go there for the trees and the hills and the squirrels. <laughs> and the train museum. And the train museum. And the quilt store. Yeah. I don't know where the quilt store is. <laughs> oh. I've just been told that there is. Okay. <laughs> I think they also have like a blueberry festival sometime during the year. Oh. Or. I think there was a blueberry festival that was re. I think that was recent though. They have some kind know. of festival there. Maybe it's come Somewhere in Florida, there's a zucchini festival every year. I haven't heard that one. Yeah. I want to say it's up near, like, Tallahassee, maybe. Oh, that's a bit of a hike. Yes, it is. But I like zucchini. So do I. <laughs> <laughs> Especially, I like it fried. I like zucchini bread. <laughs> Not fried, sauteed. Sauteed. With some onions. Yes. And some yellow squash in there. Yes. We had that as a side the other night. <laughs> <laughs> it's very good because sometimes Publix they just like have it all chopped up for you in a little package, and it's like a dollar fifty or something, and you get like a whole thing of oh yeah, all yeah, three yeah, ingredients, yeah, yeah. and you just like bring it home and saute it up. Easy side for those of you that have a Publix. <laughs> 
like zucchini I was looking, and squash. I was looking at it. I was looking for it today. But today's um, pre-chopped vegetable little tray thing was um, potatoes and carrots and mushrooms. So I did not purchase it. No. Because I cannot do mushrooms, and I do not like cooked carrots. So I like cooked carrots, especially in pot roast when they taste like the pot roast. <laughs> They're all meaty pot, flavored. Pot roast flavored carrots. Yes. <laughs> They're all soft well, you know they have like grape yeah. flavored, no, they have like apple flavored grapes or whatever, don't they? Yes, they do. So they should make pot roast flavored carrots for That'd you. Be delicious. <laughs> That's like oh, <laughs> I don't want some pot roast. Well, well, we're not going to a place where we. Can I know get pot they roast. don't have pot roast at Panera. I know. I think we need to suggest that. <laughs> well, I need to because you don't like pot roast. Probably. I've made pot roast before. I made it once. But yeah, it was okay. I know, you're not my not favorite a fan. <laughs> I could eat the heck out of some pot roast. Yeah. So now that we talked about food and alligators and squirrels. Yes. I think it's I about think time for it. us to go to Panera and yeah. make our pot roast suggestion. I don't know. Yep. Well, thank so. you very much for joining Wait, us. Wait, we have to talk about all of our social media places. I know. To see us. Oh. I was going to segue Oh, I thought that. you were going to be like, bye. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Wait. Um, yeah, so social media stuff. Um, well, Instagram, which we've mentioned before, which I am curlygirl75, and this is Knits and Bits, and then we're also on, um, Twitter as Two Crafty Stitches, in which we post when we have episodes, either just filmed or new episodes, and of course on YouTube, and our blog with our show notes that we will be working on <laughs> is, uh, twocraftystitches.wordpress.com. Was that everything? Yes. I believe so. Yes, it was. Well, thank you for joining us. <laughs> Happy crafting. Bye.